Happy Thanksgiving to you and happy 45th anniversary to this morning's next guest. Who is he? You'll meet him coming up next on Carolina People. Good morning, happy Thanksgiving, and welcome to Carolina People. We're at the Myrtle Beach Herald. We're focused on Christian mission outreach, and we're visiting with Jim McManus. It's founder and executive director. Good morning, Jim, and happy anniversary to you and Jan. Good morning, Greg, and thank you very much. 45 years come and went fast, let me tell you. 45 years 45 of years. marriage. Thank you for remembering. Yeah. Absolutely. Golly, Jim, it's amazing. Of course, I love your wife. Jan, and she's such a special woman. She, and, uh, Greg, I agree that after 45 years, she's made that impression on me. <laughs> that's right. You absolutely outmarried yourself, as I know you've been <laughs> told many times before. She's a doll. There's no yeah. doubt about it, Greg. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Very and definitely. you've known Jan and the uh, way she reaches out into so many different areas and be a blessing to people. She and does. She, she loves people. She loves you. Mm -hmm. And she loves Emma Claire. <laughs> I know she does, and vice versa. That's right. We haven't gotten those two together in quite a while. But, of course, so you guys are getting ready to get on a cruise and oh, celebrate with your yeah. family today. Yeah. You all are going to have a lot going on, and obviously being with Lisa and her husband and kids. Uh, yeah. A lot going on. It's going to be beautiful, you know, to, to be with your family. is uh, one of the most wonderful things, Greg, you could ever have. You know, especially your kids. Now I've got grandkids. You're going to be looking forward to that one day, you know. Oh, God. Oh, God. <laughs> It'll be a while, baby. Yeah, yeah, it really But uh, it's, it's a special time of year. And, you know, this time of year in our work, in our mission's work, it is a beautiful time since we, this is one of our major times. Oh, yeah. Because we distribute a lot of uh, food boxes with big turkeys, you know. Oh, right, boy. Right. There's a lot of people going to be eating turkey today, Greg. And Based I think, off of the deliveries y'all made last week. Yeah, I yeah. thank the Lord for that, that, you know, we're able to reach out to people. And you know, Greg, it might be a little bit difficult for some people to understand, but there's a lot of people still in America that are going through a challenging time. Mm -hmm. And so we want to reach out to those that are having a difficult time financially. And let me tell you, it's not easy for a family of four or five children, mom and dad, maybe working two jobs, trying to make things work, and then come up along about Thanksgiving or Christmas. It's a time when everybody wants to celebrate and have a, a big holiday meal. But there's some, and we've seen many of them, that are just not able to. Mm -hmm. And I thank God for not only our organization, Greg, but there are a number of wonderful organizations in our community right. that are reaching out and being a blessing to so many people. Mm -hmm. That's you know, wonderful. You're exactly right. It was amazing. On Tuesday, Eric Meese of Mobile Meals, uh -huh, the president yeah. of Mobile Meals of Myrtle Beach, you know, I think there's four or five chapters on the Strand, right. just in Ori alone. Yeah. And to hear him talk about making those 45 to 50 meal deliveries every day. And, of course, so many of the folks who want to interact. And I'm sure you see that last week when you all were dropping yeah. off the big Thanksgiving That's packages right. that you all do. The folks want to interact with you. Yeah, you know, uh, it is not just our organization, but it, I want to thank the many volunteers that come to help pass out the boxes and many people that help to buy these boxes, you know, and yeah. make a provision. There's so many that it would be extremely difficult to enumerate, you know, one by one, but mm -hmm. we thank everybody for being a part of what we're doing. It's not just me and Jan and Randy and the people there at our outreach, mm -hmm. but it's so many people in our community that say we want to be a part of it. And, and of we course, thank you for your participation over the I, years. I wish it's been, it, it could be or, or had been larger, Jim. You know, it's fascinating to see y'all are non-denominational, so so many churches yeah. wrap around, mm -hmm. so many volunteers, as you say, from all walks of life, many non-Christians even, finding ways to support y'all because they, they recognize oftentimes that mission itself, just providing food is a, a vehicle they'd want to do. Yeah, you know, Greg, speaking of the non-denominational, we're an organization, even though we have the name Christian, in there but we reach out to people whoever they may be if they're having a difficult time they say hey we need food or we need clothing or we need household items or we need medication or something if it's within our ability to provide we, we provide it and we're open you know we, we not only do we serve uh, a lot of people during the holiday you know Thanksgiving right. and right. Christmas but we're open Monday through Friday with our food bank available wow. so we, we touch the lives of a lot of people but you know Greg my background, as you know, goes oh, yeah. back to television and radio for many, many years. This has been a 
this has been a sort of a sideline, our right. Christian work. Right. We've been involved in Christian work for so many years, I can't count them. <laughs> Don't well, have enough toes well, and you fingers. Know, the amazing you know. thing is, is that Christian Mission Outreach was founded about half of the amount of time that you've been married. You know, I think you wow. said 22, 22 23 right, years right, ago to think years, that yeah. you and Jan, and of course, have you all have been Christian Mission Outreach folks yourselves, I'm sure, virtually since oh, y'all's yeah. marriage. It really has. And, you know, you, you thank a lot of people, the people in our community, people like yourself, people, business leaders throughout the area. And, and you mentioned the churches. Man, I thank the Lord for the many pastors that have been a part of our outreach. Yesterday we had ministers coming in, taking food boxes back out into many different areas that people mm -hmm. couldn't get in to pick up. Mm -hmm. And we thank them. It's been a great blessing. It's a joy to see people reach out and touch the lives of those that are less fortunate. Mm -hmm. You know, Greg, back in the beginning, this is back in 1982. Now, Jan and I had been involved in missions long before that. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Her family came from mission-oriented, and, and she, had, she has experienced with that a long time ago. But back in 82, we had a Christian radio station in eastern North Carolina. Right. We had one on up from there, <clears throat> close to your dad up in Durham area. We were in Burlington. I remember. And we found, I don't know, it seems like we might have come up with a lot of uh, different things that we had in our possession. We made an announcement on the radio. Hey, we've got some toys, we've got clothing, we've got uh, different things, food that we can pass out to people. In the Boy, we were bombarded. Mm -hmm. And then the community rallied, and we found that, hey, there's a great need, mm -hmm. a tremendous need. So we started expanding. We've been in operation since then. Not only have we served this area all these years, right. the eastern North Carolina area, but we have also, as the Lord provided and showed us direction, we've gone into other states and other countries also. That's right. But our main concern here, of course, on the beach is reaching the people throughout our area oh, yeah. and your viewing area. Well, I remember it, uh, a few years ago, there was a big event you all put on at Dixie Stampede. You had oh, kids yeah. coming in from Robinson County, oh, yeah. from Scotland County, That's from right. all over. That's a right. huge group coming yeah. in. And, of course, we want to talk about that. But if a viewer needed a run out to get to school or to get off to work, I want to make sure they know a phone number they could call to learn more yeah. about Christian Mission Outreach, as well as sure. you and Jan and Randy and so many of the volunteers, or if they've got time to donate. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. What's the best number to call, Jim? Of course, the area code is 843-293-2411. Right. I'm glad you said That'll that slowly, <laughs> and that's important to do it slowly. You know, Greg, I'm sure you get a lot of voicemail, uh, people calling, and people... Uh, yeah, call me at 2932 I said, whatever. Yeah, Slow yeah, down yeah, a little yeah. bit. That's Let me right. catch up here. That's right. That's right. 293-2411. Mm -hmm. And, you know, mm -hmm. people have questions. People say, well, hey, what do you do? Can you help us? Right. Give us a call. Well, of course, oftentimes you just have folks stop by. Stop oh, yeah. by the food bank oh, over yeah. there. Stop by your offices. Yeah. You're in a prime location near the back gate of the former Air Force Base right. on 17 Bypass. What's the easiest way to describe how to get to your office, let's say if someone was coming in on 544 or coming down 501. Find the back, the back of the air base. Right down from there is a, a little waffle shop. That's right. And get on that frontage road and head back north on the frontage road. We're right beside a moto fly, which is a motorcycle shop, and it sticks out in front of all the rest. Oh, Find yeah. the motorcycle shop, follow down the fence, and hey, here we are. That's exactly <laughs> right. Very Right next door to that motorcycle shop. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. That's a great way to describe yeah. how easily. Uh, and, and, and what are y'all's hours during the day? This Monday through Friday, Jim? Yeah, Monday through Friday, 9. Actually, our food bank is open 9 to 2. Okay. I'm 10 to 2, I'm sorry. Right. And then our office is open until, from uh, 9 until 5. Right, mm -hmm. right. Well, of course, today on Thanksgiving, I'm sure all the yeah. volunteers are at home. Oh, on they're own. at home eating turkey. <laughs> That's right. So many of those turkeys y'all dropped off last Wednesday and Thursday wow. all over town. And, of course, so many activities. What's it like, Jim, as you think back on 45 years of marriage to Jan? Wow. 45 years ago, obviously, A, where you all got married, but, but B, what that's been like. Where did you all get married? We got married in Gastonia, North Carolina, east, uh, let's see, on over west of Charlotte. That's you right. Know where that oh, is. Yeah, yeah, sure. Had to get my... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're in Myrtle Beach. That's uh, right. Yeah, uh, let's see. And... Uh, over yeah, actually Bessemer City we got married, but they're in Gaston County. Right. And it's been uh, it's been a wonderful, wonderful forty five years. Yeah. And we've been involved in missions about all of those years. And uh, you know, Greg, not only have we done missions work, but I've pastored. Mm -hmm. I've done evangelistic work. Absolutely. Hosted television programs for many, many years. That's right. That's right. But you know, the uh, gratification of the blessing that you get from reaching out and 
I'll go back and fill boxes of food, mm -hmm. you know. Mm -hmm. I'll go back. I can remember one day, <laughs> I don't want to get too personal, but you, no. gave, you gave the mission some beautiful clothing one time and mm -hmm. a nice, beautiful pair of shoes. This, this happened within a day after you brought those beautiful shoes in. Man came in. It was dead winter. He came in in sandals. Mm -hmm. And he wanted a, pair, a large pair of shoes. <laughs> mm -hmm. He saw, oh, he said, those are beautiful shoes, you know. Yeah. And I was there. I was there when it happened. But it is a great blessing and a benefit to be able to reach out, fill a box of food, take it up to a family and say, oh, boy, and see tears come in their eyes. That must be very powerful. You know, it was easy for me over the years. You know, as you study the Bible and you learn about uh, the teachings of Christ and you follow his teachings, he teaches that, you know, if you do these things, he taught his disciples, feed the hungry, mm -hmm. clothe the naked of the needy, minister to the fatherless and the widows. He said, and visit those that are in prison. Mm -hmm. Now, we've been doing these things because Christ taught these things. And we still, Jan and I still have a prison ministry. Is that, that right, Jim? We I go to visit the prison. Uh -huh. And uh, we try to reach out to those. And that that's sort of dictates our policy and that dictates the things that we're doing, you know. How do you all determine which prisons to visit or how well, you all do that and, and, and how open and receptive are the prisoners or the inmates themselves? And yeah, well, it's, uh, they're, they're very receptive. Mm -hmm. it's, a, it's a captive audience, mm -hmm. <laughs> but they're, they're open to positive things, you know. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And so it's a blessing to be able to uh, talk to people about, hey, right now you're in a position where you can't do much. When you get out, there are things you can be doing, and we want yeah. to teach you uh, something about how to live. How to begin preparing for be that. Prepare. That's mm -hmm. right. That's right. Let's talk about some of the primary things that Christian Mission Outreach does on a regular basis. Of course, the food bank you mm -hmm. said opened from 10 to 2. Is that Monday right. through Friday? Monday through Friday. Monday uh -huh. through Friday. And again, the phone number, 293-2411. I think I've seen uh, there's surely the, the opportunity for people to contribute, to contribute sure. food, to contribute otherwise, but there's a lot of opportunities for people to donate their time. Oh, yeah. You know, speaking of opportunities for working, we're not the largest organization in the area. We, we, are, we feel like, Greg, it's, it's sort of like television. If you say, well, hey, you know, we might not be the biggest, but yours is a big corporation, but you talk about ABC, NBC, CBS, Fox, okay. there's a place for each of these. Oh, yeah. Each has its own area. Mm -hmm. And it's the same with some of the great, large national organizations. Mm -hmm. They've got their place. Mm -hmm. We feel like that we're filling a need. We're filling a space here that nobody else is filling. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, we wouldn't see all the people come in. Mm -hmm. And so we thank God that there is still a need to reach out to those that might be falling through the cracks mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. that some other agency may not be uh, servicing. And so we, we're very touched and blessed to say, hey, we're here. And we don't try to compete against any agency because, you see, we enter work, Greg. That's one of the beautiful things I like about this market. You have all the agencies working together. We have calls from major organizations, from mm -hmm. churches throughout the area, mm -hmm. as well as we will call other agencies and talk to them. A lot of times we have people that come to us and have a particular need, and then they may be from a different area. So we'll call the agency over there, hey, have you helped this, agent, this individual, mm -hmm. or can you help them? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. If someone could donate some time, Jim, what would some of the primary needs that you all would have for somebody if they could donate time, and what are some of the true aspects of their lives that could potentially be beneficial to you all? Yeah, we always need people, you know, um, to, to stock shelves. Okay, really, yeah. <laughs> We're not quite as big as some of the major food chain, but we, we stock our shelves mm -hmm. today. A couple of our people had to go to buy food, a truckload of food, mm -hmm. because, we, hey, when you're out of food, you've got to buy food. That's right. And then to come back, to stock it in the shelves, and then to have somebody there. When somebody comes in, they fill out an application, tell about themselves, mm -hmm. and then uh, somebody goes back and puts together a box of food for them. So it takes, mm -hmm. takes time, takes people to do this. Also, during a major operation, you know, Thanksgiving and Christmas, we need people to come. And, you know, we want to thank the National Guard Army. Sergeant Todd over there. Mm. A young lady who's the most cooperative person you've ever seen. I call. We've been doing it over there because of the location. Right. Because of the facility itself, offering itself to uh, what we're needing, you know. And uh, I call Sergeant. Oh, yes. Says, I won't be there the 20th normally, but says, I want to be there because this is such a wonderful event. 
Right. It's such a blessing to our community. It says, I'm going to be there, and we'll open the doors, and we'll have it ready for you. Wow. Yesterday she was there. Anything we need, hey, they're available to us. So we thank the National Guard. That's fantastic. Isn't of course, on a day like today, on Thanksgiving Day, you know, when we're not only thinking of so many who are, as you said, Jim, who are, who are recipients of y'all's baskets yeah. that y'all were carrying out last Wednesday, to so many homes in the communities, it's amazing to think that your next door neighbor, someone watching the show right now, either could be in, in need of a basket, yeah, having right. not known that's about right. y'all. And of course, there's still more opportunities between now and Christmas. There are more oh, opportunities. Y'all yeah. do some big drives for Christmas. Oh, yeah, yeah, we do. We, and then, of course, we take applications for our Christmas boxes. Mm -hmm. And uh, then on the 20th of December, let's see, that's when we're going to be distributing right. our food boxes at the National Guard Army. Okay. Having a great time. And listen, we have, oh, we have people from all over. You better come this year. You're going to be Jim, I know. I, I, you know, <laughs> I tell you, I, I, the Dixie Stampede component, share with viewers what, that, what that's about. That's something you all have been doing. Yeah, we've been doing that. The, of course, that's in the past now. We don't do that now. But okay. we, we took a right. number of folk to the Carolina Opera, you know, the right. different venues. And uh, they work with us to help be a blessing. Oh, wow. Some of these young people have never been to a show like this. They couldn't afford it. I remember. It. I've had families that you'd think, well, hey, they're normal. And you say, hey, I want you to take your children to the uh, uh, theater. Right. And it, I mean, they, they're oh, so overjoyed, they cry. We've mm -hmm. never been. I had a family from up in Loris last year, and they had about six children. Mm -hmm. And I said, look, uh, w would you have time? Could you bring your children down to one of the, one of the theaters? I've got some tickets. The man says, we have passed there time and time again and never, never been able to go. Mm. Hey, let me tell you, it touches your heart. And Jim, they were so grateful. That's got to be powerful. Another place, Medieval Times, opens oh, yeah. their doors yeah. so oftentimes yeah. to folks who that's right. just could not find a way to get in there that's right. otherwise. So, we're, man, we're thankful. There's so many agencies, so many organizations, mm -hmm. so many companies in our area that are reaching out and being a blessing to people, and we, we thank them from the bottom of our heart. And again, viewers can stop by y'all's offices there on the bypass or call the 843-293-2411 oh, yeah. number. If you're not around, yeah. Randy Steves is often there. Yeah. Mary Randy's Vincent. been with the organization, golly, a good while. 105 years. <laughs> <laughs> no, Randy, you not catch that. I'd say maybe 12 or 14 years. Is that here, right? Here yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I didn't <laughs> know Long that. That's time. fascinating. Yeah. Yeah. One thing I didn't find out, Jim, and to share with the viewers, are you originally from the area? You know, Greg, I started out in the Charlotte area. Right. And uh, I was in the media there and radio for sure. a number of years, and then from there to Asheville. Mm -hmm. Radio and television, and then to Greenville, South Carolina. Television there, and then I was in, wow, I traveled around several different areas developing uh, television stations. Right, putting them on the air. You know, back in my, in my days, you had to, one of the young ladies was asking, hey, did you ever do this in television? Did you ever do this? When you start out, and you got as many years in the business as I do. Yeah, you <laughs> did it all. You, not only do you do the latrines, but you I, I remember one time I had a newsman. This happened. Actually happened on the air. Here you have three news people. You have a weather person. You have a news person. And it was I was downstairs. Mm -hmm. They hollered, Jim, Jim, Alan's had a, a heart attack. It seems like he's had a heart attack. On the air, live, I ran up the stairs. They go to a commercial. I jump in his seat to finish the dinner. <laughs> and in other news, and I'm here, I'm looking out of the corner of my eyes. Is, is, he, is he all right? Is he okay? Did you get to get, to get the medics in you, you know? Yeah. But he didn't have a heart attack, but they thought he did, you know? But you never know what's going to be happening. You know, when you're in the business a long time, you do about all of the jobs. Jim, you've done so much thing. live television. I remember, obviously, on TV 43, the, the I mean, on this station, uh -huh. the nightly broadcast. Yeah, this is TV 43. That's yeah. why we're on TV 43. <laughs> Share with the viewers some of those nightly uh, live broadcasts y'all were doing. Obviously, oh, Christian yeah. Christian Missions. That Was was that a... Yeah, uh, yeah. Like, yeah we, did a, we did a program talk, telling about, sort of like we're doing today. We talked, right. but we had guests come in and uh, talk about, hey, their experiences. Mm -hmm. And we had a bank of uh, telephone operators taking calls. Oh, Anybody wanted to call in, talk to an operator. And it was a fun thing, beautiful thing. And uh, we still, Greg, one of the points that I want, want to make here, we're one of the few agencies in our area that does counseling. Like, for example, Greg Everett comes to Jim. Hey, Jim, i got a problem. 
-hmm. Come on back here, Greg. Let's sit down and talk about mm -hmm. it, okay? Mm -hmm. Greg, now that problem, I don't have a million dollars. I can't, right, right. can't help you yeah. with that. But we sit down and we talk to them. Yesterday, now this mm -hmm. happened. I mean, this is the way people are. I was here at the uh, uh, studio over there giving out food, and mm -hmm. there must have been uh, 50 people come in. Every one of them, run, I want to hug your neck. I want to... You know, it's a personal yeah. thing. Yeah. And people come into our offices there, and uh, we don't have time to talk with every individual. But sometimes an individual might be pretty heavily burdened, and we'll say, hey, you need to talk? Mm -hmm. Come on back, let's talk. Mm -hmm. Or somebody will call. and We have referrals coming in from various agencies that say this person needs counseling. Mm -hmm. person's got a problem. Now, is that so because we'll they know you as a pastor, Jim, and your pa pastoring experiences, well, or is it just because you've got an open mind or willing to uh, keep confidential? Uh, well, it's I guess, you know, that uh, we've had some experience in counseling over the years, mm -hmm. and uh, certainly because of our Christian background. Mm -hmm. And not necessarily do the people have to be Christian. Hey, we pointed out earlier, we serve everybody. I don't care what right. denominational stance, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Whether they're Christian, non-Christian, otherwise. We want to help the people. We're, our doors are open. Mm -hmm. Jim, today, obviously on Thanksgiving, you all are heading, uh, you and Jan, to celebrate your 45th oh. anniversary. You all are getting on a cruise uh, just a little bit. Yeah. And obviously, you've got other family members be with you. We have got, uh, yeah, our children. Well, actually, one daughter is going to be tied up, but we've got our, the daughter, her husband, our grandchildren. We've got, you remember Doug, Doug Zorns. He's going to yeah. be going with us. He and his is wife, Rosie, right? yeah. We've got maybe 25 or 30 different people that are, you know, closely associated with our mission. And we're going to have a time. It's going to be beautiful. They're all celebrating you and Jan's 45th anniversary. Well, they better be. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Today's the day. Yeah, the day's the day, Greg. That is spectacular, yeah. Beautiful, Jim. it really is. When you think about uh, marriage for that long wow. and so many things that you all have done together as a team. Yeah, really. Providing so many avenues for others. And Jan, just like Jimmy and Joanne, who I came to know through you, oh, yeah. or I came to know you all through Jimmy and Joanne, the former owner of this station, Jimmy Thompson, and his wife, who much like Jan. Oh, yeah. Really, Joanne. you know, I just thought about that. Jim and Joe, or Jim and Jan, and Jimmy and Joanne. Did y'all ever connect you. those J's? Yeah, <laughs> we had a call from her yesterday. Actually, my wife, she she goes on a mission trip, you know, to the mountains each year with the right. Dove missions. And strange that we would mention their name, Greg. Last last night I go in. UPS has been there. Now they didn't send it to my office. They sent it to Jan because right. Jan's been associated with the with the uh, uh, missions for so long and right. here are 16 big boxes there at our uh, condo stacked up boom 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 no. boom we left it the day before believe me i think it was 14 uh, toys really uh, can you Getting imagine ready for christmas 30 some different boxes yeah big wow. boxes so yeah we're going to be giving away and then we take up toys here new toys if anybody has toys are good Toys in good condition, you know. Mm -hmm. They can drop them off at the office. That is fantastic, yeah. Jim. Mm -hmm. These primarily all will be distributing on December 20th at that's the National correct. Guard yeah, Armory, or do you all do it during the year? Yeah, we, we do it at that, at that time, and then we'll have a lot of times, Greg, people will come into the office after we make our distribution. Mm -hmm. I remember last year, after we distributed our Christmas food boxes, I was the only one in the office. Office was closed, except it wasn't closed. I had 25 families to come in who needed food for the holiday. No. Mm. It was a one-man show. Do we need volunteers? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We need volunteers. We volunteer. definitely need volunteers. <laughs> and, and now the hours that they would be asked to man, if they could be in the office just to be there. Yeah. Uh, you know, one of the things, of course, uh, we, we need people just about never. People come in to get closed. We're not as large as Belk's. Our Sears department store. Right, right. So we, a lot of times we stack them up. And I, I, I have a lot of fun. You know, people coming in, they're going through clothes. Ma'am, we have one rule. That is that now when you finish getting your clothes, we want it to look as neat as Sears or Belk's department store. Oh, yeah. Know? Good for you. That's... But they smile real big. Okay, okay, you know. Yeah, yeah. But anyway, it's a blessing. Really it is wonderful to be able to make that commitment, Jim, and to see so many folks, as you say, whether it's in a prison setting or whether it's with someone one-on-one. -on -one. You know, you think back after 22 and a half, almost 23 years now of Christian Mission Outreach, if you hadn't found it and weren't serving as executive director of Christian Mission Outreach, what do you think you'd be doing, Jim, to take up 
your time? Well, you know, that's a good question. Maybe fishing. Ah, wow. <laughs> a little golfing maybe. <laughs> fishermen of men, my... yeah. Yeah, fishermen of men. You know, Jesus said, follow me and I'll make you a fisherman of men. Mm -hmm. You know, fisherman. Mm -hmm. But anyway, yeah, I've, I've, it's always been Christian work some way or another. But let me, if I could take just a moment. You've got to wrap, yeah. Talking so that's about great. some of the things that we need. We need uh, always volunteers. We need, if anybody would like to uh, uh, donate food. Right. Beautiful clothing, yes, good shape. Uh, toys, yes, from from now till Christmas. Uh, let's see what a we're looking for a truck or a van. Okay. We're looking. Somebody might have five acres of property. They say, hey, you need more room. You need a bigger building. Great. Oh, come on over. That's us. Great. We're looking for that. Uh, financial finances, financial help. Yeah, we could always use that. Okay. Donations, large and small. Large or small, okay. it doesn't matter. You know. Jim, thank you so much for coming in on Thanksgiving Day oh, and your 45th man, anniversary. Yeah. You all have a great time on the cruise. Thank you. Thank Absolutely. you. Absolutely. Stay tuned to more Carolina People with Jim McManus coming up next. For almost 23 years, the mission's been the same thing, to provide food and toys and otherwise for the less fortunate to build that food bank, to train missionaries, to counsel others, to reach prisoners, inmates, to get out and constantly make a difference from a non-denominational aspect. Jim and Jan McManus and so many of the volunteers, you heard them talk about last Wednesday, that aspect of pastors being out there to help provide food to others, to get the Thanksgiving baskets ready for today. Not today, Jim and Jan's 45th anniversary, but today, Thanksgiving. A, a month from today is another big celebration. It's what it's all focused on, Christ's birth. And today's a day where we think about that and plan for a month from now and to try to provide for so many others. Jim and Man Jan McManus do it every day.